Right, so the next thing we'll talk about is quick replies. Now, quick replies can be used instead of buttons or as well as buttons, right? The important thing to remember with quick replies is first you get some different choices. Um, so it will actually reproduce their emails and whatnot. But that means starting to go into the tree builder. Now, we're not going to go into the tree builder. We're going to keep it nice and simple and just in the floor builder. Right, so let's have a quick look. What we're going to do is we're going to drag a quick reply over here. And as you can see, if we wanted to, we can keep a quick reply on there as well. Now, quick replies look different in the whole floor and they disappear after somebody uses them. So let's just delete these for now. Right, so we'll get rid of all the buttons. And let's have a quick look. So we'll just keep on clone this, clone this. I want to see how many quick replies we can actually get because obviously they are pretty good. The thing, remember though, they will disappear. All quick replies will disappear as soon as somebody clicks on it. Right, which is an important thing to remember because if you're expecting people to scroll up again, then they can't do it from a quick reply. Which is quite a good thing because also if you don't want people to be able to go back and track your whole thing, then they can't do that either. So we're looking pretty cool. It's quite a good little thing to be using. Let's have a look. Let's keep on going. And clone that again. I've got about 50,000 messages on my phone at the moment. God, everybody's watching this show there is for something. Right, so as you can see, you can get quite a few different quick replies, right? And they're all going to come on here. And the problem you're going to have with quite a few different quick replies is they don't display very tidily. I'll show you what I mean. Right, so first off, let's double click on the quick replies and see what we can actually do with them. So first off, what do you want the quick reply to go and do? So we can have a new post back, exactly the same as before. We can have a new, um, have a normal post back. So remember, we can link it back to wherever we want to. We can get a phone number or we can get an email. Right now then, remember before when I said that we're going to set up the phone number and email to be gathered by the user input flow. So basically, with a quick reply, the only things that we're going to use it for is new post back or post back. All right. So really simple, exactly the same as the other ones. But let's just show you the difference, how it looks. So, um, post back. And let's go uh, test. All right. And we're going to just add a text message on there. Let's OK that one. This is from a quick reply. Right. And we'll just click that one up. And we're only going to do two because otherwise we'll be here all day just doing this. So put post back, um, button text is going to be uh, post back. All right, and we're going to select a post back and we're going to do start flow. All right, so that's our two that we're going to have. So let's just delete these other two so I can show you what they actually look like. And you'll have to imagine that all of these other ones are in there because I just won't see it. I haven't got the information in them. Let's just delete them. Right, and we'll just save this nice and quick. So that's all saved. So let's go into our test page again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go train. Let's delete the whole chat again. And let's just start off again. So test button. I'm going to come up here and get started. And from the get started, we're then going to run through. I'm going to see all of this again. Right, now this is going to be the important part. Let's grab your email. Right, so we'll just put, we'll say the yes. And let's grab your phone number, 99. I'm hoping that it's going to accept it, not accepting my false phone number. Right, so this is what a quick reply looks like, right? Now, watch when I click this. Remember before when I clicked the buttons, and they're still there, the continue button, still there after I clicked it. After I clicked this post back here, both of those posts back have now disappeared. So there's no way for that person to go back in your chatbot history so if you need them to do that at all, if you think that some part might miss, then always use a button for that particular part. Post back is just for a really, really quick sort of reply, quick little post back thing, and then that's it all done. Right, really simple. Thanks very much.